Hello. I've got a Mother's Day design this time. Um, it's a sort of a, it's a delivery, really, I suppose. But uh, it's a, it's a nice design, but it's going to be quite substantial because it's based around this balloon here, which is a large shape. So it's quite a big heart, and it's got some really nice colours on here, which is what's inspired the colour choice of the Sempertex latex to go with it. Um, if I hold it up for you, I've got it pre-inflated down here. It's quite a say, quite a substantial balloon, so it's going to be quite a, a big design, quite impressive when it arrives as a delivery, I'm sure. And the colour combinations are really very interesting. So the, the sort of ground here goes really well with the pastel matte melon, uh, which is a good start. And then we have here pastel dusk rose. Um, there are touches of metallic, so I've chosen the reflex rose gold and then we have some of the newer colours in here as well which is really really nice the, um, this colour here no not that one there this one here particularly is the new um, fashion deep teal which is a lovely 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 rich colour and then we've got elements of blue which come from the pastel dusk blue I've included the new um, fashion honey yellow and also the um, fashion uh, sunset orange so it's a it's an interesting combination of colors but it does work particularly obviously when you're pulling them all together to match with a foil design that you've already got um, so simple idea for construction initially we have a cluster of four 12 inch balloons here and we're just going to put the weight into the center of those in the usual way so pull it through so you've got the weight on the underneath and the tassel on the top and then the two balloons that you've put it between we just wrap those over so that it twists onto the collar of the weight and because of the combination of colours and the way they, they are all together, it really doesn't matter where they sit. So we don't need to worry about that. So these are inflated to um, 8 inches. And then a smaller cluster inflated to 7 will sit on the top. We need to make sure that it's very firmly attached to the foil. So I'm going to do my method where I pull the tail of the balloon through the cluster, wrap it around, go backwards and forwards a few times, wrapping the balloons over and around the tail several times so that you get a really strong grip on the tail of the balloon there. And then I'm going to attach it onto here. So um, we've got a very sturdy anchor. I'm going to take the neck of one of these, sit this on the top here, and pull it up nice and tight, wrap it around a couple of times. And that way we can be very certain that the foil is going to be well anchored and nice and sturdy. It's not sort of flapping around. Um, so we've got a good solid base to attach everything else to. Then we're just going to add some details. So I've got some clusters here of five inch that I'm going to add in around the base. Um, I've made these very loose. That way I can put them in and then adjust them into position once they're in place so that they're, they're not sort of pulling everything else out of shape. So we have some uh, five inch melon, five inch deep teal, five inch honey yellow and the pastel dusk blue. And I'm going to use um, an uninflated clear 260 to attach those on there. I'll just pull that through the middle there. And then I'm just going to hook it onto the side of the cluster like so. I'll adjust it later. Then I can pull this 260 through and round and then use that other end to attach this cluster of blue here. 
uh, and then I'm going to take it back through and round and use it to attach the melon here and it's long enough amazingly for me then to take back in round one more time and attach the deep teal so that really is quite a time saver to be able to um, tie all of those on with one balloon I'm just going to adjust the positioning of that so that all of my clusters are nice and visible just pull them into position so that they sit well like that okay then I just need some extra sort of a movement and, and, and vibrancy to it and the way this balloon is designed it's it's kind of quite splashy um, watercolory sort of very um, vibrant the, everything's there's nothing too sort of tidy about it so I want to take inspiration from some of these stripes here and just create a couple of um, shapes that I can add in so I've got here a deep teal 260 and I'm going to twist that about there and then pull it down about there so that we're kind of mirroring some of these shapes twist that there add it in and I'm just going to kind of tuck it through there a bit and that will go on to the side here and then I'll do the same ish because they're never going to work out exactly the same obviously um, with a pastel dusk blue for the other side and that will sit there and I'm going to use again an uninflated 260 for that one to tie it in so that will sit under there well on that side and that sits well on that side and then these flowers this one in particular I want to kind of recreate those to get a little bit of detail at the top so what I've done here is a cluster of six five inch pastel dust blue all randomly inflated to different sizes well there's five blue and a, a reflex rose gold in the middle but they're all randomly inflated to different sizes so that we get the same kind of blob effect if you like of the flower that we can sit on the top here and I'm going to need also some deep teal um, stripes if you like so I'm going to inflate that fully and then twist it off about there and let a little bit more air out to soften it slightly and then tie it like so and then I can curve that and then again I need three of these so I'll do three not too worried about the actual length of them a little bit shorter this one perhaps 
that there. A little bit of air out, soften it, tie it off. And then one more. There we go. And tie it off. Now, we need to attach these to the top of this foil and as you will have obviously encountered and noticed there are times when um, sticking things to certain foils can be a bit of a problem. Um, you could use um, uh, nail varnish remover or acetone, isopropyl alcohol, all sorts of things to remove some of the paint. Um, it can be a little bit tricky and it's, it's kind of a bit chemically but if you're only attaching an element and you're not going to be putting it under too much strain then actually a little piece of, well not necessarily a little piece a decent sized piece of clear packing tape will actually do the job really well because what that does is to increase the surface area that you're sticking to. So whilst it's still not particularly well stuck, if you get hold of it and peel it, it comes off. But what we're going to be doing is, is gluing this um, flower to it so the tension is this way rather than as a peel. Um, so it will hold it really firmly. So we're going to stick this onto the top of the balloon where we want the flower to sit. Smooth it down as much as you can. And that now gives us a nice solid base that we can use something like um, balloon bond to attach our flower to. So I'm just going to get a little bit of balloon bond. Should have opened this before we started filming. There we go. Only need a small piece. And put that on top of your packing tape. Press it down nice and firmly. And then that will enable us to stick the flower on where we want it to be. And it's stuck nice and firmly. So that's a really easy way. And then I'm just simply going to take these and pull them through the flower. And remove the excess. I think we'll have that one curving that way. We'll have one here. And then we'll have one on the back. And there you have it. It's quite a funky design but it picks up on all the elements printed on the balloon and enhances them so that the overall effect is quite vibrant, quite um, intense, um, quite sort of painterly. Happy Mother's Day!